So hopefully you watched part one of this Trader Joe's Fall 2020 series. This is part two where somehow we have even more Trader Joe's Fall 2020 items to rate. Uh, more pumpkin, more maple, all the things for fall. Ashley, you're behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so what's our first item? Butternut squash mac and cheese. It's rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of Gouda, cheddar, and Parmesan cheese. And the girl that rang us up at Trader Joe's said it was so good and her favorite, and she was very excited by all of our fall carts. She was, and we're, we're, we're basically eating this first because this came out of the oven like 10 minutes ago and it's already getting cold. So here we go. It smells really good. This one would be my first pick uh, for uh, like a TV dinner or like a frozen meal but um, it smells really good and um, I think I might be into this. All right, let's take a bite. It is good. I gotta say the spice is on point. <clears throat> Less like a mac and cheese. I don't think it's like cheesy. It's more just like a regular kind of like, seems like more like a TV dinner pasta dish, but um, this is you know, solid. This is two servings per container, which no, in what world? I was gonna bring that up. One, I appreciate that boxes now say the calories per box, but they still say per serving. Do you think you and I are gonna share this over well, like a dinner? you better let me freaking try it. Oh yeah, you're gonna definitely try it. All right, you try. Thank you. Mmm, good. Pretty good, right? Better than the normal mac and cheese I had the other day. So I'm gonna give this four out of five. I think this is a solid recommend. I mean, we both agree that it's better than the mac and cheese you can already get at Trader Joe's, right? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, we had that last week. This is definitely the best. Next up, we got the pumpkin empanadas. I'm not too hyped for these, I gotta say. There you go, big big bite. Yeah, this ain't it. Um, Let me try that, that piece. Yeah, this is, this is not my fave. I'm not gonna say they're not good. If you really love pumpkin, I think you're gonna dig these. The pastry's not bad. The actual empanada outside part's not bad. I don't like rating things that I feel like I'm already not inclined to, to like. Um, going in. I don't like to rate them too poorly, but I don't know. Two out of five for these? Okay, well, Ashley co-signs on the two out of five. I think this is kind of a swing and a miss on Trader Joe's part for this season. I know they try to get pumpkin and everything, but maybe empanadas should be pumpkin free. Next up, we're actually moving a little backwards to a little breakfast item. Pumpkin bagel and pumpkin cream cheese. Both of these you've had before and you were hyping me up for it. You are a pumpkin person. I wanted these for me. I mean, I love bagels and I love cream cheese, so. All right, so we got toasted bagel with the cream cheese on it. All right, let's give these a shot. I thought it was gonna be really sweet. I did get it because it's not too sweet. The Both thing aren't too sweet. Is pumpkin stuff isn't mm -hmm. really sweet. Like I said in the last video, I like when pumpkin leads almost towards the more the savory savory side. This is definitely sweeter. The cream cheese, I know why you like this, because it's like basically like frosting. Stop it. It's like it's got like a definitely like a frosting. You know kind my go-to, to my go-to order when I was like a teenager and, and in my 20s was I would get a jamba juice. Mm -hmm. And then right next door was Noah's Bagels in Manhattan Beach. I would go there, I would get a blueberry bagel, warmed up, mm -hmm. not toasted, with mm -hmm. strawberry cream cheese. Wow. And drink a... Like a lemonade or something with that no, too? No, the, the Jamba Juice smoothie. Oh, the I Jamba Juice get... smoothie, yeah. That like tropical one. I wow. They say opposites attract and it's very true. I'm gonna give both a four out of five. I think the combination is a four out of five. I think that's a very good fall breakfast item. Moving on, are we going to the snacky land next? Yeah, but I want to finish this first. <laughs> All right, next up we got maple almonds. I imagine they are almonds that taste like maple. <laughs> oh man, that is a maple smell. That is, it's almost like a maple fragrance in this bag. Yeah, these are solid. I guess if you're feeling really, really seasonal, go with the uh, maple dry roasted almond. Maybe if you're making some kind of granola, this would be a good thing to get some, some more maple into your granola. They're aiming for maple almonds. These are maple almonds. I'm gonna give these a four out of five. They're solid. All right, next up, we got pumpkin cranberry crisp. I've, these have been around for a while, right? These are like a, almost like an OG. So pumpkin cranberry crisp, a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheeses, dips, and spreads. We're just gonna eat this on its own. So hopefully they can stand on their own. Have you had these before? No. These are really good. Well, give me some. Mmm. Okay. Love the rosemary. 
I feel like, I mean, there is a big sprig of rosemary on the box, but I was gonna say, should, they should put in the description, like very rosemary forward. This would be cute on a charcuterie. Charcuterie? Definitely. All right, pumpkin cranberry crisps. Also, four out of five, solid. I think if you're making a charcuterie board, like Ashley was saying, this fall season, I think you gotta grab these for that. All right, what's next? Pumpkin spice pretzel slim. Oh, okay. These are the snacks I was most hyped for when we just got back from Trader Joe's. Why I don't, is this I, so I don't, hard I don't for know. you to open a bag? That was one of the worst Very opening good. jobs ever. I don't know what happened there. I don't even know. I think I added parts to the top to, to mess up. It looks like the, the pretzel slims, like the dark chocolate ones that you already get at, at Trader Joe's. A lot, lot more going on in here. Crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds on top mm. of pretzel slims. Oh yeah. Give me just one, please. Super into this. I have a real soft spot in my heart for yogurt pretzels. Was this is a yogurt pretzel? Oh my god! I think it's like way too sweet. Mmm. I'm super into this. These are top tier fall items so far. This is a five out of five for me. No. What do you think? A two. A two? I don't like them. And you diss me for like going so harsh on things I don't like. I think they're too sweet. I think if it was a full size pretzel, it would be better because there'd be oh. more salty texture to it. Could not disagree more. I really like the Trader Joe's pretzel slims already. I re I'm glad they went with that thinness for these. These are top tier. These are, these are- What did you these? It's a five out of five. Oh, you're straight tripping. Let's do the next one. Apple cider cookies, crunchy, crisp apple cider flavored cookies with fall spices. Let's just dive right in. Ashley's super excited. I am too. They're like shortbread cookies. No. Yeah. That is not what's up. Why though? Something's odd it about them. It tastes like they want to be apple, but they're not. Mm-hmm. I just don't think the apple flavor works with like a shortbread. I think you need something more buttery. Like obviously like a pecan cookie like this would have been better for fall. Two out of five. No, one out of five. Two out of five. Two out of five. One out of five. I don't think they're that bad. Two out of five. One out of five to me is like, get that out of my face. Yes, get okay, it out of well. my face. Pumpkin spice batons, delicate rolled wafers filled with pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice baton, here we go. Yeah. This is the flavor I want in my mouth. Very light, perfect for like, what's the picture on there? It's almost like an eggnog type of thing or like a fall coffee situation. Pumpkin spice, batons, 3.5 out of five. Do you agree with that rating? I think I do three. Okay. Cinnamon bun cookies. I think these are new, I've never seen them before. I haven't seen these before either. Uh, they look very good. I love anything brown sugar. So let's go, let's tear right into these. <laughs> wow. like. So bad at opening things. <laughs> so bad at opening things. All right, let's dive right in. They're not good? Right out of the gate, they taste old. It's a really odd texture. How does a cookie have a texture of a raisin? And there's like not enough filling. Give me one. I don't hate it. You know what? I don't like it. Sandwiching a cinnamon bun flavor cream filling. What what cream filling? Where's the filling? This is disappointing. <sighs> Man, this might be the f the only one out of five I'm gonna give for this whole fall Trader and Joe's. And that one was the one I was most excited about. Like the packaging, it's new. I was hyped. I was hyped for these. What's next? Okay, maple leaf cookies. Yeah, these have been in our pantry a bunch. I actually don't remember eating them because I think you kind of like don't allow me to eat them. Or, or this is what ends up happening. If I want to try to eat something, I'm not allowed because if they're seasonal like this, they're gonna eventually run out, which means I don't get to have any. All right, let's get these a shot. Mmm, wow. Wow, these are really good. I'm a big fan of, when they tell you the flavor on the box, it really tastes like that. And the size, I think they're like big enough where you can just kind of have like one after dinner. It's a nice little little treat. You don't have to like keep munching. They're like not Oreo size where you feel compelled to like keep munching on them. Maple leaf cookies, five out of five. These are really good. This is something I think you add to the cart every season. I think the, the winner is the cream cheese. The pumpkin cream cheese was the best. Oh, no way, winner. Winner, winner. I can't believe Ooh. you don't think those are too sweet. I'm gonna end the video eating another one of these. Slam dunk. I might like these better than the kettle corn. Oh no. This is, my, I think, my favorite not. overall of everything we tried. First video You're MVP. You're crazy. MVP of the first video. 
was the sea salt kettle corn, the maple sea salt kettle corn. Which we got two more bags of. This is the MVP of this round and the overall winner, I think, of Trader Joe's Fall 2020. What's your winner? The pumpkin bagel and pumpkin cream cheese. I want to eat Of this that. round or of everything? Yeah, I like that. Of everything. And the sangria. She liked the sangria. Good. I don't think we even talked about the sangria. I but. talked about it on my Instagram. Yeah. Mmm, these are so good. So that's been a lot of Trader Joe's. We've had two videos of just the fall 2020 stuff. We only thought it was gonna be one video. We went back to Trader Joe's. I didn't think There was good. more stuff. I knew they didn't have everything out. It's crazy. I mean, it really is an event. It's like Super Bowl season for Trader Joe's fans is fall. I don't know if we'll do another Trader Joe's fall 2020. I feel like this is a good summation of fall 2020. I feel like we should let the people. Okay, comment below if you want another, if you want more, the missile, all the miscellaneous items of fall 2020, comment below if you want that video as well. And if you end up trying any of these items from this round or the previous round, make sure to tag me at Maddie Tries. So let me know what you think of these items. Tag us both on Instagram, at Maddie Tries, at Ashley Hosmer. We do even more uh, Trader Joe's reviews on her channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Just getting to the end helps YouTube recommend my content to other viewers. Until next time, go to Trader Joe's, get all the fall stuff that we recommended here. We got more next week. See you on the next one.